plans for installing a joint nuclear power plant on the Moon's surface within the next decade are being considered by Russian and Chinese officials, the head of Russia's space agency said Tuesday. A project he said could allow for the development of lunar settlements amid similar efforts by the U.S. Borisov said Russia is against deploying nuclear weapons in space, and added he believed, space should be free of nuclear weapons. Multiple U.S. outlets reported last month Russia planned to use nuclear weapons in space, after House Intelligence Committee Chairman Mike Turner, R. Ohio, warned of an unspecified, serious national security threat. The weapons would have been used to target satellites, ABC News reported, citing U.S. officials. Russian officials and President Vladimir Putin condemned the claims, suggesting plans to deploy nuclear weapons in space were, bogus. Russia's Roscosmos and the China National Space Administration have been cooperating on building a research station on the Moon by the end of 2035 since signing an agreement in 2021, according to TASS. The project includes the development of several lunar landers for research, a jumping robot and smart mini-rovers designed to study the Moon's surface, TASS reported. The project will also establish communications and power systems. Under the project's timeline, China will send three missions to the Moon's surface, including the Chang'e 6 mission, which is expected to launch in May. NASA and the Energy Department are also developing plans for nuclear power on the Moon. After announcing contracts for three companies to help develop the project with the space agency in 2021, the project aims to establish a nuclear power plant on the Moon in the early 2030s. NASA officials have also signaled for settlements on the Moon, with the agency suggesting homes on the Moon's surface will be completed by 2040. In August, Russia launched its first mission to the Moon's surface in 47 years. The Luna 25 spacecraft was designed to be the first to ever land on the Moon's South Pole as part of a space race against India's space agency. The Luna 25 spacecraft subsequently spun out of control and crashed into the Moon, while India's Chandrayaan-2 spacecraft also crashed after suffering from a software error. Roscosmos subsequently said it aimed to send cosmonauts to land on the Moon within the next decade with the intent to build a Moon base by 2031. Russia and India's space race coincides with efforts by other countries, including the US, China and Japan, who announced plans to explore the Moon in recent years. Japan landed a rover on the Moon in January, though the spacecraft landed upside down, causing the solar panels to infrequently restore power. Intuitive Machines landed the first American spacecraft on the Moon in over 50 years last month, though the spacecraft landed sideways near the Moon's south pole, causing it to lose power.